Hey guys, it's Jason with the Board Game Mechanics, and today we're going to take a look at a little two-player game from Dr. Finn called The Fisheries of Gloucester. The Fisheries of Gloucester, or Glo I'm not sure how you say it, so I'm probably going to just call it Gloucester, is a new game from Dr. Finn Game, two-player game only. And what you're doing in this is you're taking on the role of a fishing boat, and you're trying to plot a course out in the ocean, catch some fish, fish preserve the fish, and ultimately end up on an island to rest, which is basically going to be get you points at the end of the game. It's a, a pretty interesting game. It's like a polyomino type game. You have action points you can spend. It's going to be basically the time that you have throughout the day. And once you're out of time, not many actions you can do. So that's enough talking about it. Let's go on the table. Check it out. All right, so here's a game of the Fisheries of Gloucester, or however you say it. I'm probably going to mispronounce it throughout this whole review. All set up for two players. This is a two-player only game. So to set up, you're going to give each player a player board, a lobster token, um, a time marker which will start on zero but I've already adjusted for who's going first and second so this player is going first they get six time this player is going second they get seven time you're also going to get a single square a double square and the second player will get an extra single square you're going to deal uh, sh set up the preservation cards based on the type of card so this is color this is two equal two different so on and so forth all the the non-colored ones have two in a stack these are all the different colors, so they have however many colors there are fish. I think five, four, and the rule book says face down, but they're going to go face up. So once a new card is revealed, you can take that. Based on whoever's first or second on side A of the board, which is what I'm playing on, the first player will go on all the one spaces, which I've done here, and the yellow spa player will put all their second place player will put all their boats on level two. You'll randomly put fish on the spaces that have fish markers on the side A. And then off to the side, we have the additional ocean tiles. And we'll have the deck of cards here, chart cards, which we're going to flip to tell us what kind of tiles we're going to be getting. All right. So at the beginning of, the game, of each round, what we're going to do is we're going to flip a tile and we're going to get new, we're going to flip a card and we're going to get new tiles. So this chart card is going to reveal two singles. So we each get two singles. One, two, and then this player will get two. All right, so now we have some tiles. Now, what's gonna happen is, first player is going to take their turn. to go back and forth until someone is done. When someone is done, they will take this card from the supply and decide if they wanna go first or second, and then the other player can keep going until they're done. So f first player, what they're gonna do is they're gonna go ahead and put this card back up in the supply. I'll just put it up here for now. And then they're gonna take a turn. So on your turn, you have one of four of, well, one of four things you can do. You can take a tile and put it out on this map in any space that's adjacent to a boat or another tile. You can't put it over rough water, which is these spots here. You can't put it over fish. can't build it over islands, any island. So any calm water area, you can build this on. You can also sail, which means if this player puts this one here, they could then move for some time onto a tile. You can only ever move your boat onto these tiles, the hard, um, rough waters, or the islands. If you move on to an island, you get those points at the end of the game, but your boat is there for the rest of the game. You can also fish. So if this player would be here, they could spend time to gather all the fish orthogonally adjacent to their ship. Any ships, actually. One action is, for one fishing action, you can fish next to all of your ships. Or you can preserve fish. This is once per round. Any fish that you've caught, you can turn them in to get a card. Score points, get an extra action. It's going to be a majority of your points at the end of the game. So let's go ahead and get started. Oh, we also have a lobster. Should we choose, we can take this lobster, cash it in, and take a second action before the other person gets to take one. So that's just something you can do. You don't have to. All right, so green is first. I'm going to place down a tile. So let's see here. I'm going to get to some fish. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to do this. Place a tile there. All right. Yellow is going to, they're going to start doing some fishing. They actually were going to expand this, which is gutsy. All right. Green will 
go ahead and go one more. Yellow will go one more as well. They'll do this. And now green is going to move. So the way that moving works is it costs one time per space you want to move and you can move one boat. So if I moved one, two, three, four, that would be four time. If you move into rough water, that's two time. If you have to go through another person's boat, that is two time. You can't end your turn on where someone else's boat is. So what green's gonna do is they're going to move one, two, three. And they have to stop there because if you look down here, you can see this fleet marker. You can only move your boat out as far as you want based on the back, the farthest left boat being three spaces away. So in this case, until I move another one of these boats, that one's stuck there. And because I move three spaces, that drops my time back three spaces. All right, so that was that turn. Um, this player is going to move as well. Actually, they're going to keep building. So they're going to do, they're going to go right there. All right. Uh, then green is going to move one more. Oh, they can't shoot. They'll build one path here. Yellow will build another path here. Green will keep that path, but they're going to spend one action and they're going to move a boat. Oh, that doesn't help. No, that's fine. I'm going to put this one here. All right, yellow is going to move. So yellow, uh, they'll put their last token down first. Hang on. So yellow's got that. All right. Now, green for their action, they're going to move one. They'll move this boat one. So that's one time. Then they it's yellow's turn. Yellow is going to move some boats as well. So they're going to go one, two, three. They can move that one. Okay. Then it's back to green. Green's going to go ahead and move this one one, which will move their fleet token up one. So this can get up a little bit farther, which is the whole point. And then yellow's turn. They're going to go ahead and move... One, two, three, four, that's not smart. They're actually gonna fish. So what they're gonna do is they're gonna go ahead and fish. So for one time, they're going to capture this fish because it's the only one that's orthogonally adjacent to their boat. It goes onto their player board. And it's been a time for that, I think. Then green, green would really like to fish, but I'm about out of time. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna pass. So I'll pass. I'm going to go second, so that'll give me an extra time. I'll get seven time at the beginning of the next round. I don't have any fish, so I'm not going to do any of that preservation stuff. Uh, so yellow still has three time left. Hmm. I can't move that one. Let's just go ahead and move. One, two. Move two. I only have a purple or brown fish, so I can't do anything else, so they're done as well. All right, so at the end of the round, you're going to check. Um, if you have more than one tile, you have to get rid of the extra tile. And then what you're going to do is you're going to set time. So this player is going to get seven time. This player is going to get six. because They're going first. This card will go back. And then we will start over. If this was after the sixth round, the game would end and we would score some points. And then what you're going to score is you will score all your cards and wherever you've reached an island. So if a boat gets all the way over here, that's worth three points at the end of the game. But it's there for the rest of the game. So that's what you're trying to do. You're trying to get those cards. You're trying to get boats on islands. And you're just trying to be the most efficient fisherman that you can be. So at the start of the second round, we flip another, another card. Everybody would get these tiles. So we'll get that tile. And that tile, they would get the same. And then we would go. So let's play through another round. So yellow's first. They want to get a gray fish. They're actually going to build uh, this, though. They're going to build that. Uh, okay, so that's their turn. Uh, green is going to build... They're going to build this one, actually, right there. 
All right, so that's Green's turn. Now yellow is going to move. So we're gonna move this boat one, two, three, four. So they're gonna lose four time. All right, now green, uh, I think I can move them as well. So let's see. Whoops, dropped. One, two, three, four, five, six, which is fine. So I'm gonna move six there onto rough water. So that's two time. All right, yellow has three times, so they're gonna do some fishing. So can I fish right now? Nope, not yet. We're actually gonna put this down right there. All right, green. I want to fish. I can get two fish. I'm going to go ahead and fish two fish. So I'm going to do a black fish and a blue fish. So two fish is two time. It costs one fit one time per fish. And they're out of time. Yellow is up. And they are going to mm. Dang, they really got hose on a fish. They're going to go ahead and move one. And then this player, they're going to preserve so they have two different fish. So what they're gonna do is they're gonna get rid of the fish. They're gonna take this card. And now they're going to have two points at the end of the game and they can move about two spaces. So let's go ahead and do that. One, two, and that will move and increase their fleet distance by one right there. And I should have moved yellows because they are right there as well. All right, so that was their turn. They can no longer preserve because they've done that. Uh, back to yellow. Yellow is going to fish. So they're going to fish one and two. So they will get a gray and a blue. That was two fish, two time, they're done. This player doesn't have any time, so they're going to have to pass. So, well, they could build another, another pathway, I guess. Yeah, let's do that. They're actually going to build a pathway first. Right there, all right. So then it's back to yellow. Yellow is going to preserve. They have a gray fish. So I think they're going to actually take the gray fish card, get rid of the gray fish. They're going to get one point, but they also get to add two time to their turn right now. This player's done, so they're going to go ahead and be second player again. And now yellow gets to keep going for the rest of the round. They can't take another card, so what can they do? They could move one space to here. Nope, can't move there. Just kidding. Oh, shoot. That'll actually be done as well. So, done. That's the end of the second round. So, that, uh, you get rid of any tiles you have over one. Then, what you're going to do is you're going to get time. So, this player will get seven because they're going second. This player will get six, but that'll bring them up to eight. And then we will keep going. Um, so, this player will be first. Keep going like this until the game ends. And whoever has the most points is the winner. That's how you play the Fisheries of Gloucester. Let's go up to the top, see what you think about it. All right, well, that was Fisheries of Gloucester, or Gloucester, Gloucester, whatever. I, yeah, whatever. So whatever the name of this game is, I like it. Um, this is, I, I like Dr. Finn's two player games. One of my favorites is School of Sorcery or Institute of Magical Arts, whichever version of that you have. And the back and forth, out guessing your opponent in that is really fun. And in this one, there's not a lot of that out guessing your opponent, but you're trying to plot a course so you can catch more fish to preserve them to score more points than your opponent. You're trying to manage your time more effectively than your opponent. You can only get 12 times, so you may want to just take a not so great round so you can have a next round that's even better. And everything costs time except placing these tiles out on the board, which, you know, these are free. You're not doing anything, you're just building a map, basically. But it costs time to fish, it costs time to move your boat. It doesn't cost time to preserve fish, but you can only do that once per day. So a maximum of six times. So if you're not catching any fish, you're not going to be preserving any fish. So there's the rub there. I like everything about this game. I have a prototype. So there were some rules that were incorrect, but I tried to talk about them in the overview where the cards, the preservation cards are all face up. Um, and this card is going to be more specific. It's going to have six time on this side and seven time on this side, just so you kind of know what's going on. Um, so let's go ahead and talk about some of the components that I have. So here's the uh, the lobster. I didn't talk about this as much other than you get rid of it to take an extra turn. Amazing little wooden meeple. I like the boats. The boats are really cool. 
four different types of fish. There's the brown one, which is a fat one. That's probably upside down, I don't know. A blue one, a gray one, and a black one. And the, yeah, they're all different shapes, not necessary to the gameplay, but it's cool because the cards, one of the cards needs different colors. Well, a couple, all of them need either the same color or different color. So while these could have been the same shapes, I appreciate that they're different just for a little bit more fun to look at. Uh, now let's talk about uh, the board. So I showed you the side A of the board, which is going to basically tell you where to put everything, like the fish, and going to have pre-populated islands and, and rough water. But you can also play on side B and make your own map. And that's where these tiles, which I didn't show you, come into play. So you have some islands here, some hard water or rough water that you can put on the map however you want to. There are some rules, but it gives you more flexibility to create a cool, funky map. So if you want to do that after you play for a while, you can, or just play this over and over and over and have fun with it. Um, I, I like this game quite a bit. I like the art. I like the way that the fleet works where you can only move your lead boat so far from the, the boat that's in the back. So you are got to constantly make sure you're always paying attention to the boats that are far back so you can keep moving forward. I like it. I like the polyominoes. There's only three different sizes. So you got the little L, the two straight piece, and the single piece. So you're trying to plot out your course as best you can. To make it so you can get next to some fish get to the point islands just score some points the managing of the time is awesome it's basically you know you have a pool of actions that's what the time is representing a pool of actions that you can take and on your turn you're going to take one action could spend seven time but you're taking one action that has that power time strength which i really dig so this game is really good i enjoy it quite a bit uh, even though this is i think a prototype it was in shrink so i'm not 100 percent sure it's a pre-production copy how about that I still like everything about it. I think the production is amazing and I can't wait to play this some more. So I'm going to give this a BGM accepted seal. I'm going to give this a seven and a half out of 10 on BGG, which is a 3.75 out of five on an arbitrary wrench scale. That means absolutely nothing, but we have to give it the games that we enjoy. And that's what I'm going to do. So that is the fisheries of Gloucester from Dr. Finn's games. I'm Jason with the board game mechanics. And as always keep gaming. Mm -hmm.